Hi, I'm Samantha, and I'll be doing your hair today. Joan Flynn is ready for a change. She wants to add a subtle pop of color to her doll winter locks. So she came to Mr. Bayless School of Cosmetology for highlights. Because I needed a pick-me-up, and a lot of times we all need a pick-me-up. And here at Mr. Bellows on 12 Mile on the Mount is the place to come. You can walk in, the students are friendly, and you're doing them a service by letting them do something for you, and that's training them. All services at Mr. Bayless are performed by students under the supervision of a licensed okay. instructor. Joan will be getting six highlights today, which will add a little blonde to her warm auburn hair. But first, a little protective cream. This is just going to protect your skin from the chemical. Oh, okay. Just along the hairline, just in case if anything does touch it, it's not going to irritate your skin and it protects the hair around it from getting any bleach on what we don't want it to get on. Plus seniors get 20% off on Thursdays. So you're getting a good, a good price. Yeah, good bang for the buck. Exactly. That's how it is this day and age. You gotta, you know, <laughs> you want to get your money's worth. <laughs> Prices at Mr. Bela's range from $2 for a shampoo to $8 for a haircut. Highlights like Jones getting are $2 per highlight. Jones foils have been removed and now it's time for the rinse. How do you like the temperature of the water? Warmer, cooler? Yeah, warm. Okay. A good rinse and condition followed by a professional blow dry in style. Now time for the big reveal. All right, Joan, you're finished. Are you ready to look in the mirror? Yeah, beautiful. Joan's looking as beautiful as ever and another satisfied customer. Thank you for the good luck. You're welcome, honey. Mr. Bayla's is on 12 Mile West of Mound. No appointment necessary. For more details, go to MrBayla's.com or call 586-751-4000. Lori Erla, TV War News. Opening that mouth. Good job. Uh, looking. Good boy. My name is Michelle Haar, and I'm a speech language pathologist with Belmont Hospital. Praxia of speech is a motor um, planning problem where the uh, message that's created in the brain um, is sent down to the um, musculature for the sounds to be produced, it gets lost. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Mmm. Ah. Yay! Ah. Symptoms would be a child who's having trouble with producing vowel sounds or distortion distorted vowel sounds. They have trouble um, saying something on Can commands. What we do here with Jackson is we're working on comprehension, but along with that on the speech side of it, we're working on him getting his voice, having a voice, and whether that's through vocalization or using alternative communication devices, we're gonna get that. <laughs> what do you want? You want to run? <laughs> one of his favorite things, right? So we're very determined and he's, he is using right now a couple of um, applications on a handheld device um, and is understanding that and is able to explain sometimes what he would like to do, um, answering some yes no questions and you know, decreasing that frustration so we can kind of relax and focus on getting more sound production. Yes or no? No. Okay, we won't do that again. Um, support is very important. Um, they, they will progress and be able to put sentences together and speak and have friends and grow up and live normal lives. And this extreme cold when we have, no, they shouldn't be out. Okay? okay. Thank you very much, sir, right, for your thanks. help. All right, thank you. All righty. <laughs> The frigid cold is hard on everyone, and animals are no exception. That's why Warren Animal Control is keeping a close watch on our four-legged friends, making sure no pet is left outside for too long without proper protection. If the dog is going to stay outside, it must have a proper dog house, meaning to uh, accommodate its size 
and preferably a wood dog house because it's more insulation than the plastic dog houses. The house should be several inches off the ground and big enough so the animal can move, but not so big that body heat escapes. You should have a waterproof wind flap over the door, and straw is the best thing to use for bedding. A lot of people use rugs, pillows. That is not good because once their feet are wet in the snow and they lay down, then it saturates all the bedding and it stays wet. They even make heating pads and heating lamps for dog houses. So whatever setup you choose, just remember providing proper protection for your pet is not only humane, it's the law. The word proper is key because if we come and you've built a big old plywood box with no insulation and a big open door for the cold air to get into and you don't have it packed full of straw for the animal to keep warm with, we will not consider that proper insulation, and you could be issued a violation for animal cruelty. Misdemeanor animal cruelty charges carry fines up to $500 and or 90 days in jail. Questions or concerns, call Warren Animal Control at 574-4806. Lori Erla, TV Warren News.